Sure, I'm Holly Wire. I'm the Marine Pollution Program Manager at the Ocean Protection Council. Um, the Marine Pollution Program has traditionally focused on plastic pollution, which includes lost fishing gear. Primarily are involved in lost fishing gear through funding. We provided the initial funding that started up the Sea Dock Society's California Lost Fishing Gear Project. They've removed a lot of fishing gear from the coast of California, specifically in Southern California over the years, and they're currently being funded through mitigation fees. The lead agency and the most hands-on agency in California is the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, they are starting up a program for the Dungeness Crab Fishery that allows fishermen to go out after the season and collect lost gear. The California Ocean Litter Strategy in partnership with NOAA, um, it, which will include a number of strategies relating to lost fishing gear, including better education of the fleet, uh, potential redesign for different kinds of fishing gear to make them harder to lose, um, and implementation of best management practices for fisheries that aren't already doing those things. For us, last year the state passed SB 1287, which requires that the Department of Fish and Wildlife administer a statewide program for the Dungeness Crab Fleet to go out and collect lost crab pots after the season. Um, the bill was innovative in a number of ways and one of them is that it has made funding for that program internal to the fishery rather than being funded by outside grant sources. So SB 1287 allowed the Department of Fish and Wildlife to develop a statewide program to remove Dungeness crab pots after the fishing season was over and the intent is to really reduce the number of pots that are lost year after year. The great thing about this law is that it was really supported by the Dungeness crab fishery and they really wanted to see it move forward.